Gajan American saying, what are your thoughts on how, why are you spelling thoughts like that? Okay, what, that, that's something else, Gajan American. I think it's a dead <laughs> What are your thoughts on Republicans saying America is a constitutional republic, not a democracy, and the Colorado's governor's desires to create an electoral college for the state? Um, I have some thoughts on this. I think my thoughts are a little bit different than yours, but you yeah. go first and I'll tell you. What well, I yeah, I mean, the the first part of it is is just factual, to be honest. Um, and that doesn't that doesn't mean better, worse, good or bad, necessarily. It does just mean that there are certain there are certain procedures and processes already in place for um, the United States. Honestly, me personally, I like a constitutional republic better than an outright democracy because kind of the point of a constitutional republic is that um, some populist jackass can't come in and say, now no more black people in the country, you know? And I, I'm glad that we protect the minorities in, in the country. Um, or at least, again, that's supposedly what our government is, is founded to do. Colorado is one of those weird states in the United States, for sure. They're one of those ones that there's always something a little bit different that they're doing than, than the rest of the country. Um, Again, I said earlier, I'm not really for an electoral college on the federal level. I don't know how I would be for it on the state level either, because I couldn't imagine, I couldn't imagine that it would be much different at all. Um, so, you know, yeah, not really for an electoral college. We are technically a constitutional republic. Uh, I would say a good portion of the GOP is taken by Christian nationalism and, and they are cool with the theocracy, but that's, you know. No, so I don't agree actually with the way the first part is mentioned. So you mm -hmm. guys, I, I mentioned so I, a whole bunch of people in the live chat also said this, that the United States is not a democracy, it's a constitutional republic. This is not actually, it's not mutually exclusive. Um, I think what you guys mean is that United States is a constitutional republic, it's not an absolute democracy. Yes. Okay? So... Yes. It is, a demo it is, every republic is technically a democracy. It's just not an absolute democracy. Yes. And uh, being democratic, it's a spectrum, okay? And one, one end of it is absolute democracy. Mm -hmm. And it's not just United States that is not an absolute democracy. There is no such thing as an absolute democracy. We yeah. never had an absolute democracy. Even in ancient Greek, where people say like, oh, we had an absolute democracy in ancient Greek. No, you didn't. Women yeah. couldn't vote. <laughs> um, like slaves couldn't vote. So you never had, we never had it. And it's never, we don't have it now. We never had it ever in history. Okay. So a constitutional uh, republic is supposed Every republic is supposed to put a limitation on how democratic a country is because you don't want to have mob rule. You don't want to have the dictatorship of the majority where everything the majority says goes. Mm -hmm. You want to introduce a limitation, okay? And when you say a constitutional republic, do you mean that the limitation is written in your constitution, okay? But I think more important than saying it's a constitutional re republic, I think it's better to qualify what kind of limitations you're introducing by saying that it's a liberal republic, okay? Yeah. It's a liberal democracy. A liberal democracy yeah. is almost a contradiction, but it's meant to be a contradiction because one is limiting the other one. So a liberal democracy is a democracy that the democratic elements have been um, limited by liberalism liberalism goes against democracy okay because liberalism tells you that certain things are not up for vote mm -hmm. for example minority rights are not women rights are not up for vote right um and that's how it should be that's how it should be uh but again it is united states is a democracy it's just not an absolute democracy what, so don't say you yeah go ahead. what if what if instead of saying united states is a democracy united states has liberal democratic values as a constitutional republic because i think what i think when you broke it down a second ago i think that that's really good understanding of it okay uh, yeah 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 it, yeah one of them is a, a democracy it's a it's a feature the structure is when you call it like it's a monarchy or a republic 
or an absolute democracy, that's when you're talking about the structure. So, but democracy is like a feature that you have yeah. a little bit of it, a lot of it, maximum like, amount of it. I like yeah. that kind of thought on it. I like that kind of yeah. view of it. I think it gives it a, it's a, it's a better understanding, I think. Okay. Okay. Cool. But yeah, fuck the electoral <laughs> college just to drive that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay. You know a lot more about that like than I do. I haven't been studying that that much. I just know the, I just know what the arguments from both sides are. One of yeah. them is like, oh, look, it's not the will of the people. It's not the majority. The other side is like, but if we make it the majority, no one's going to care about these states. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay. There's there's obviously a middle ground, and the 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 individuals who wrote the Constitution, uh, a good few of them express that very specifically in the Federalist Papers. And if you really want a good understanding of um, how the Constitution came to be and what the arguments were for it, that 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 is the the place to go, the Federalist Papers. So. My understanding is that it's not about making sure, like, oh, these like making it fair. My understanding is that this was just a power play, like people had in negotiations. You just wanted to make sure that these people were not going to satisfy thir certain. Yeah, 13, Thirteen different countries all coming together, sending their representatives, saying, "We really don't want to work with you, but we also dislike Britain more. So how do we not kill each other, uh, but still retain our power?" So yeah, a lot of compromises, a lot of bullshit. Uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> But good luck with changing that. Yeah, no, I we're heard. doing. Yeah, but like I said, we're having a tough time right now in the <laughs> U.S. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese god, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says "Get our free blasphemous art."